Mike, what are you doing? I'm guarding the truth by protecting the cross. Mike, that's not what that verse means. It's talking about the truth that's kept in our hearts. Oh, right. Today, we're going to learn a lot more about what it means to protect the truth that's inside of our hearts. We're going to do that by worshiping, playing a game, making a snack, and hearing a lesson from Miss Jackie. But we're going to start with worship, so stand up to your feet wherever you're at. Stand up and get ready to praise the Lord. Let not your hearts be troubled Believe in me Oh, oh, oh I'm going there to prepare A place for you Oh, oh, oh Guardian Gary shares the truth about the Bible. Hey, Guardian Gary. Hey there, Timmy. You know, I have some questions about the Bible, and I, I heard that you are a pretty smart guy about the Bible and what's true or not, so can I ask you a few questions? Oh, well, yes, I'd be very happy to help. Well, someone told me that the streets in heaven are paved with... 
gold! Is that true? Yes, yes, that's true. In Revelation 21, it says so. You know, the Bible is the truth. Oh, well, that's awesome. But you know what else I heard? I heard that Jesus can walk on water. Is that true? Yes, it is true. You know, Timmy, in Matthew chapter 14, there's some disciples on the boat. and Jesus walks out to them on the water. He literally walks out on the water. Isn't that way cool? That's the truth. Yeah, that is cool. I wish I could do that. You know, another thing, uh, Gary, another thing is I heard that there was this guy in the Bible that got swallowed by a fish. Yuck. <laughs> yeah, that one is pretty gross, but guess what? It's totally true. In the book of Jonah, we read the story of Jonah getting swallowed by a great fish. And guess what? He was spit out on the shore three days later. <laughs> what a story that one is. <laughs> Ew. Oh, well, hey, Guardian Gary, I have one more question. Go ahead. I heard someone say once that you can just, you know, try to be really, really, really good, a good person, and that makes up for everything else that you've done that might have been bad. Well, now, Timmy, that one's not true. Timmy, the only thing that can forgive us of all the bad things that we've done is having a relationship with Jesus and ask him to live in our hearts. Only then can we be forgiven and have the hope to go to heaven one day. Oh, I get it now. Thanks, Guardian Gary. I'm so glad that you helped me with my questions today. I feel like I know more about what is true. Hey, oh, that reminds me. You know what else is true? What's that? I'm starving. <laughs> I'm going to head home because my mom said she's making me a sandwich. Bye-bye. See you later. Hey kids, it's Guardian Gary here. Guess what? It's game time! And you're gonna need a password to play this game, so let's get started. Hey kids, welcome to our game, What's the Password? I have six boxes here with six surprises inside. They can only be unlocked with a special password that Mike and Courtney are going to try to guess based on three short words that I'm going to give them. So for example, if the password was apple, I might say tree, red, juicy. And then you have a chance to guess what the password is. And whoever gets it correct gets to open up the box and keep the prize that's inside. Are you guys ready to play? Yeah. Yes. All right, let's get started. Okay guys, here's the three clues for our first password. Are you ready? Okay. Tree, juice, a color. You have three seconds to guess. Three, two, one. Oh, I think that was a tie, but maybe it was Mr. Mike first. Um, is it an orange? <gasps> ding, ding, ding! Yes! You guessed the password! Oh. And Mr. Mike gets the first prize. All right, here we go. <gasps> A it's... wooden snake! <laughs> this is fun. Here are the three clues for our next password. Are you ready? Okay. Warm, cozy, bed. You have three seconds to guess. Three, two, one. <gasps> Miss Courtney! Is it a blanket? <gasps> ding, ding, ding! You guessed the password! Yes! Here you go. Thank you. Whoa, twirly straws. Okay, and here are the three clues for our third password. Wheels, pedals, bell. You have three seconds to guess. Mr. Mike, what's the password? Is it bicycle? <gasps> yes, it is. You guessed the password and you get the next prize. Oh, I love prizes. Let's see what's inside. 
<gasps> Unicorn ears. You should wear it. Okay. <laughs> that looks nice. <laughs> Yay. Let's go to the next password. Okay, here are three clues for our fourth password. Are you ready? Okay. Walls, door, window. You have three seconds to make your guess. Three, two, one. What's the password? Miss Courtney, is it a house? <gasps> ding, ding, ding! You have guessed the password and you get a prize. Yay! Ooh, this is a big box. What's inside? Oh, it's so cute. Are you guys ready for our next set of clues? For our fifth password, the clues are wings, nose, seats. You have three seconds to guess. In three, two, one. What's the password? Mr. Mike. Uh, is it an airplane? <gasps> ding, ding, ding. Yeah. You guess the password and you get a prize. Right. Let's see here. Whoa! One of those bouncy things. I think you have to take it out of the pack for a tour. Hey, you're good at that. Yeah. Well, you were. <laughs> it's broken. Okay, guys, are you ready for our sixth and final password clues? Okay, here they are. Teeth, baby, fins. You have three seconds to guess. Three, two, one. What's the password? Oh, I think Miss Courtney's hand went up real fast. Is it baby shark? It is! Ding, 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 ding! Baby shark is our final password, and you get the final prize. Yay! gonna be. <gasps> Whoa! It's a rocket flyer. Hey, that's cool. Cool. Well, thank you guys so much for playing What's the Password? We hope you had fun playing along and we will see you later. Baby shark do 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 Baby shark do 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 Baby shark do 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 Baby shark. Hi kids, I'm Courtney. Today we are unboxing the Bible. It's kind of like when you get a package in the mail or maybe a birthday present, but it's way better because we're unboxing God's word for us. Our word for today is G-U-A-R-D, guard. Our word for today comes out of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 14, and it says, Through the power of the Holy Spirit who lives within us, carefully guard the precious truth that has been entrusted to you. Can you guys say that again with me? Okay. Through the power of the Holy Spirit who lives within us, carefully guard the precious truth that has been entrusted to you. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 14. Great job, you guys! Now grab your Bibles and get ready to listen to a Bible story. <laughs> hey friends, my name is Jackie and welcome to today's lesson. So before we start our lesson, do you guys want to play a game? Okay, the game is true or false. All right, so let's see. The sky is blue. Is that true or false? Yes, it's true. Good job, you guys. Okay, let's do another. Is it true or false that dogs say meow? Is that true or false? False. You're right. Good job, you guys. Okay, we'll just do one more. True or false? My sweatshirt is red. You got it. False. So we played that silly little game because today we are talking about the truth, the truth of God's word. And how do we find out the truth about God? Do you guys know? Did I hear someone say the Bible? Yes, you're right. The Bible is where we find the truth about God. 
Now, in our story today, the Apostle Paul was talking to the church at Corinth, and they were starting to believe teachings that were false. Can you guys give me a thumbs down? Yeah! They were believing false teachings. And Paul was reminding them, hey, remember what you first learned. Remember to read your Bible and to take any teaching you hear and make sure that it says it in the Bible. So Paul was telling them to make sure they knew the truth and to keep the truth guarded. Now what guarded means is to keep it safe. Can you guys pretend like you're keeping something safe? Hold it nice and close to you like that. Yes, I have something to show you actually. Ready? Look, I have a little baby sloth. So cute. Can you guys pretend you're holding a little baby sloth too and rock him? We're keeping him nice and safe and we're protecting him. So babies are precious and we keep them safe just like this. Now, obviously we don't keep God's word wrapped up in a blanket like this, but we keep God's word safe in our, yes, in our hearts. Let's make a heart with our hands like this. We keep God's word safe in our hearts by remembering the truth about God. Okay, so let me share a few truths from the Bible with you. Number one, it is true that God loves you. Number two, it is true that God sent Jesus so that we can be forgiven of our sins. Number three, it is true that God has a good plan for your life and that he wants to spend forever in eternity with you one day. And it is true that God wants us to go out and share this message with others. Well, I love sharing today's Bible story with you guys, and I hope that you remember to keep God's word protected and safe right here in your heart. I'll see you later, friends. Bye. <laughs> it's snacky time. <laughs> Hey friends, I'm Jackie. And I'm Courtney. And welcome to Snacky Time! That confetti never gets old. Nope, never. Well today, we have a no-bake Oreo cheesecake for you to make at home. Doesn't that sound like fantastic? That sounds so delicious. I know, it sounds so good. And guess what, it's so easy. Really? Yes, super I easy. I love easy desserts. Me too. So let me show you. Oh, and also, you know, you don't have to use the oven or anything like that, so you can eat it really fast. Ooh, yay. But anyway, let me show you all the ingredients I have on our table here. So we have heavy whipping cream. Ooh. There's one cup in this carton, so that's what you need for this recipe, one cup. Ooh. Then I have Oreos. We have about 10, or 10 Oreos in a bag here. The best cookie. Yes, the best cookie. And then we have vanilla extract. Yum. And we have cream cheese. Ooh. And in my bowl, I've already measured half a cup of powdered sugar. Ooh. Okay, so we also have some tools on the table here. Ooh. We need two bowls for mixing. We need a wooden spoon for Oreo crushing. Ooh. And we have some ramekins that we're gonna put our dessert in. Yummy. Ramekin is a fancy word for like a cup. Perfect. Yes. And they look um, cute. And we're missing something. We're missing our mixer. <gasps> Got it right here. There it is. I love that. So maybe you guys wanna get a parent or an older sibling to help you with the mixing part of this because we wanna make sure we keep our fingers safe. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start by pouring this is our heavy whipping cream. I have one cup in here. Oopsie. We're gonna pour one cup into the bowl. Fine. And Miss Courtney is going to whip this cream until it is fluffy. I think I can do that. I think you can too. Let's get started. I'm calling it. That is looking great. When the cream is nice and thick, that's when you know you're done. Ooh. Great does job, look good? It does. Yay. Excellent, so now we have whipped cream, and now we're going to whip 
the cream cheese with the powdered sugar. Yum. And this is just one, they call it a brick of cream cheese. So it's eight ounces. And make sure whenever you mix something with powdered sugar, you start slow or you're gonna get a big powdered sugar cloud in your face. We don't want that. We don't want that. So we don't even have to clean the mixer in between. We can just switch from one bowl to the next. Nice. Ready, steady. Jack, you wanna try this Sure. One? I'm gonna go nice and slow with this. Let's go. Once all your powdered sugar is incorporated into the cream cheese, you could turn your mixer up a little higher and whip it. Just like that. That looks so yummy. Doesn't it? And we're gonna stop our mixer for a second and add a splash of vanilla. Would you like Ooh. to do that, Miss Courtney? Sure. Okay, Jackie, tell me when. Okay. When? So we're just adding a little splash, or if you like to measure, you can do one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And let's keep mixing. Okay. Okay, that looks great and incorporated. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna get the rest of this cream cheese out of these little mixer guys. I don't even know what you call these. I think mixer guys works. Yeah, they're like whisks kind of. Yeah, and we'll set these aside. So now we have a bowl of cream cheese mixed with powdered sugar and vanilla, and we have a bowl of whipped cream. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is, this technique is called folding. It's when you gently add the cream into the other cream and you fold it in a certain way in the way that you Ooh. mix it. So I'm gonna take a spoonful of my whipped cream and add it to the cream cheese mixture and gently stir. Yummy. This takes a little bit of gentle care. And now we're gonna add in the rest. <gasps> Whoa. It looks so velvety. Look at this, mm -hmm. you guys. I wanna eat this just as it is. Me too. But I bet the Oreos in it will taste even <gasps> better. Yes. Okay, let me set this aside. Okay, so we're gonna mix this up. This is called folding. You go around the bowl and through the middle. Around Ooh. the bowl, through the middle. And we're just gonna do that till it's all incorporated. This mm. makes it light and fluffy and delicious. Delicious. So as I'm doing that, I'm going to have Miss Courtney crush the Oreos. Ooh. Now I actually am using your Oreo crusher tool. Okay. So I'll finish real quick. I can be creative. <gasps> she is so creative. So we wanna crush the Oreo crumbs until they're crumbs, so that they're fine little pieces that we're gonna stick at the bottom of our ramekins and that's gonna be our cheesecake crust. Yummy. That looks amazing. Okay, let's hold it up and see how the cookies are crumbling. Let's feel. Oh, that feels perfect. So what I want you to do, Courtney, is take a spoonful and put it in each of the ramekins. Okay. So we're putting in our crust. Perfect, and we're gonna save, make sure you don't put all of your cookie crumbs into the bottom for the crust. We need to put some in the filling to make the Oreo cheesecake. Yum. Excellent. And now, I'm just gonna do this. Yum. Yum. So the cream of the middle of the Oreo gets crushed along with the cookie and it just makes this cookies and cream deliciousness. Yummy, yummy. And Miss Courtney here is patting down the crumbs to form a crust on the bottom of our cup. And I'm just gonna mix this up here. This looks so delicious. It does, it looks like ice cream. I feel like this would be a really good um, birthday cake filling too. Whoa. Paired with chocolate cake, mm -hmm. yum. Okay guys, 
Well, here's our cream, all mixed up and delicious, and now we put big dollops right on top. Yummy. That looks so delicious. Doesn't that look so good? Here, Miss Courtney, you wanna do it? Sure. Okay, beautiful. So now these are ready to go into the refrigerator. We'd recommend putting these in the refrigerator for at least two hours so that the cream cheese can firm up and the uh, whipped cream will firm up and it will create the most delicious, creamy dessert that you will love sharing with your friends. But hey, you know what? If you don't wanna wait, you don't have to wait. <gasps> Should we take a bite? I think so. Let's dig into one of these little guys here. Are you ready? Yes. Mmm. Okay, that is good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, thank you guys for joining us for snacky time. We are gonna eat all of this, I think. Mm -hmm. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>well today i learned that god's truth lives inside our hearts and so i want to protect the truth as best as i can well i think you've got it mostly kids today we learned all about the truth that we keep inside of our hearts and we learned that the truth comes from the bible the word of god and the better that we know the bible and the word of god the better we'll be able to tell what's true and what's not true thanks for joining us today on harvest kids we love you guys and we hope that you have a blessed week Remember to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to us on YouTube so we can hang out with you every Sunday morning. We love you. Bye. Stay safe out there.